Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in today. I'm Jay Iron with Iron Wheel Performance and in this video I'll be giving just a general overview of triathlons. This is Course 101. It's designed for anyone that uh, is interested in the sport or just got started. You know, you're in the right place if uh, you don't know what three sports we're going to try or you know, you just want some information as to what to expect as you embark on this journey to your first starting line. So first, what is a try? Well, it's a multi-sport event. It's made up of three sports, a swim, a bike, and a run. You do them in that order and get to transition between each of the three sports, between the swim and the bike, or T1, and between the bike and the run, or T2. Races are chip time. You'll wear the timing chip on your ankle throughout the whole race. You'll get a time for the swim, the bike, and the run, as well as each transition. And you'll get an overall time, which is ultimately what you're judged on. Um, Tries vary in distances between super sprint all the way up to full Ironman. You've got sprint, um, Olympic, half Ironman in between. I recommend for the first timer to start with the sprint distance and you can expect about a 500 meter swim, 15 miles on the bike, and about a 3.1 mile run or a 5k. They do vary based on the venue, so be sure to check that out. Make sure you read over the rules and what the distances are in that sprint and I think you'll have a great, uh, great time starting at that, at that distance. Yes, it's true, triathlons can be very expensive. Uh, there are some ways you can uh, do them on the cheap end. Um, you know, if it's your first time, I would recommend borrowing a bike. Even a mountain bike will do as long as it has gears. There's no sense in going out and spending a few thousand dollars on a nice road bike or a time trial bike if you've never done one. So I would definitely recommend doing that. Remember, you're equipping yourself for three different sports, so it's going to be a little more expensive than equipping yourself for one. Also remember there are uh, race fees. The typical sprint try is about $100, and if you ever get into Ironman distances, the half Ironmans are about $300, and a full Ironman is about $600. Triathlons do require quite a commitment. I would uh, recommend for the first timer to give yourself 12 weeks of training before your first event, which is about uh, three to four hours of cardio a week, maybe four to five days a week. Uh, again, remember you're training three different sports, so you're gonna need a little more time than if you were training just for one. Um, so I like to give people you know, a heads up about the commitment. A lot of us have families, we have full-time jobs. It can be difficult to weave it into our busy schedules. So be sure you can do that before committing to a triathlon. All right, so just a little bit of info on the swim portion of the race. Um, you're gonna wanna learn freestyle swimming. It's the fastest, most efficient way to swim. 99.9% .9 of the athletes out there will be swimming in freestyle form. You can swim any form you want, um, but that's what I would recommend. Um, you will be able to use a wetsuit in most races, assuming the water temperature is cool enough. Uh, a wetsuit will give you a lot of added buoyancy and warmth on those cold race days, and it could even save your life. So I recommend um, wearing one so long as the venue allows it. Um, you know, during the, the swim portion of a race, you won't be swimming in a local pool. Uh, you're going to be swimming in open water, unless it's a super sprint. But in any other distance, it'll be open water, which could be in a lake, a river, or an ocean. Just depends on the venue. So be prepared for that. It's going to be a little murkier. You might see some fish, and uh, you'll probably get bumped by a couple, uh, you know, fellow triathletes. So you know, don't be alarmed. It's normal. Um, you know, in training, you'll be training primarily in a pool, unless you have the luxury of training in open water, which I would recommend doing if you can. But uh, don't be alarmed. It's normal, most of us train in pools, and uh, you know, the transition into open water is not that difficult. So just some quick information about the bike portion of the race and what you can expect. Um, first, it's okay to take a mountain bike out to your first race. As long as it has gears, you should be, you should be fine. You know, if you need to cut costs and borrow a bike, no worries. Um, there is a mount line and a dismount line, so um, after you transition and you grab your bike, you'll bring it over to the mount line and that's where you actually jump on the bike and begin your ride. Um, and then when you finish the ride, you'll approach the dismount line, you'll have to dismount your bike, 
and uh, head into transition to swap into your run gear. Um, keep in mind, if you get in the sport uh, a little deeper and you buy a road bike or a time trial bike, um, you will be clipped into the to the bike. You'll have special pedals and shoes to do that. So the mountain lion and the dismount lion can be a little tricky. I've seen a lot of people come in after their ride, forget they're clipped in and wipe out. So it's just something to practice if you do have that style of bike or those type of pedals and shoes. Uh, be sure to practice that before you uh, come out to the race. Um, in training with the bike, expect to train aerobic only uh, at first. And uh, that's the zone where you know you just start to break a sweat. You know you don't want to overdo it, so just stay at that aerobic level if you're just starting out. Um, remember, in a race, you're always going to be wearing your helmet during the bike course. Uh, if a ref sees you with it off, you will be disqualified right away. And I'll go into some of the rules in a later video, but I want to share that one at least. Um, and then the last point I want to make: if you get into this sport, you're going to have to learn how to maintain your bike. Um, I didn't know much when I first got started and I've had to learn quite a bit. Uh, things like lubing the chain, cleaning the chain, lubing the brakes and the, and the derailers. So you know, you're, you're going to have to get into that a little bit and uh, I promise you it's not difficult and I'll have plenty of videos out there to guide you through that. Last but not least, the run. So with the run you definitely want to pace yourself, maintain that consistent uh, speed that you're comfortable with during the run portion or race. Uh, just like with the biking, expect to train in an aerobic zone only uh, when you're first getting started. You know, don't overdo it. Also, be aware, be conscious of your shoes. Uh, I wouldn't drag out an old pair of shoes when you first start training. Um, running, in, in running, you're the most susceptible to injury of the three sports, and having a good pair of shoes is one of the best ways to prevent injury. So if you need to go buy a pair of shoes before you start training, I recommend doing so. A lot of vendors will uh, offer free fittings. Be sure to take advantage of that. And um, also, you know, if you have to walk during a race, it's okay. It's not like you're gonna be disqualified. A lot of people walk, it's okay. Um, don't feel bad. So, you know, it's, it's common. And uh, also keep in mind, there'll be a lot of nutrition out on the run course. Um, during the swim, you won't see nutrition. You'll see a little bit on the bike. On the bike, it gets, it's expected that you carry your own nutrition on the bike to refuel. But during the run course, you won't be able to carry much. So the vendors will provide a lot of that for you. Things like water, sports drinks, light snacks. Uh, all that will be provided for you during the run, usually at each mile. Okay, so I've piqued your interest in triathlons. Now, how do you find an event? Well, there are plenty of sites that allow you to find a local event. Sites like usatriathlon.org, active.com forward slash triathlon, or tryfind.com are just a few examples. Uh, again, if it's your first time, I recommend searching for a sprint try, and uh, which leads me to my next point. Um, setting a goal, I think, is very important. So pick an event. You know, commit to it, pay the registration fee even before you've begun training. Uh, they fill up quickly, so you'll probably have to do that. Um, you know, if you're looking for a training plan, um, make sure it's at least 12 weeks for the beginner. I don't have any training plans out there right now, but I am working on creating some. So in the interim, you can check out trainingpeaks.com or beginnertriathlete.com. For, uh, they have plans ranging from beginner to pro. Uh, super sprint all the way to full Ironman triathlon so make sure you check it out and if you don't want to start at the sprint distance feel free to start even even smaller the super sprints fine or even just a 5k I personally started with 5k races before I jumped into my first sprint try that's totally acceptable all right guys that's all I have for you today hopefully you've uh, enjoyed the video and you've learned something and uh, remember to check out some of my other videos on the site or the YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. God bless.